Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial where I hope to give you clarity about the color to number node that you find inside the material graph in Keyshot. I often use it between a texture and the roughness input to give me more fine control over the contrast and the uh, white and black levels of the texture. So I can get the uh, exact amount of roughness that I'm looking for. So here I have this wood texture and I have the color to number and right now it's doing nothing. It's the uh, default settings. So all it does for now is to desaturate the image. If I start to move these sliders, you will see that we adjust the, uh, the contrast and we also adjust the uh, value of the black points and the value of the white points as well. And to give a clearer understanding of what is going on, I want to do a curves adjustment on the same texture here inside Photoshop because we have some visual cues um, while we do that. So if I hit Control Shift U to decelerate this image and Control M to open up the curves levels, you'll see that we get this graph here. We have uh, here at the bottom, we have a slider with a black arrow and a white arrow and uh, input field. So adjusting this down here is essentially the same as adjusting the input from and adjusting the white arrow is the same as it, uh, adjusting the input to. If I take this input from arrow and increase it, you'll see that the dark values becomes darker. And when we get to the point here where we have most of the information in the image, you'll see that the values to the left of this point will become completely black. The same applies for the input to arrow here. When I decrease that, bright areas will become even brighter and all the values to the right of this point will become completely white. So what I use the uh, input from and input to sliders to is to adjust the contrast of the image. So I can do the same here. I can increase the input from to make dark areas even darker like that. And I can decrease the input to to make bright areas even brighter. And if I hit C on the keyboard to exit this preview, we can see how it affects the material as well. So when I increase the input from, we will have darker values in our texture and that will make everything look more polished. And the same goes for the input too. If I decrease that, it will make um, the points brighter. Let me take this down a bit and essentially, essentially it will make the texture look more rough. So I tend to try and aim for something where I have the spectrum covered from completely black areas to completely white areas, something like this. Then we have the output from and output to sliders. And when I adjust these, that will be the same as moving uh, the point, this point here up and down and moving this point here up and down. So adjusting the output from will be the same as lifting this point up and down. And if I move it up here, for example, what I am telling Photoshop now is that I don't want any values below uh, the value of 97 in this case. And if I decrease this uh, output to, I'm telling Photoshop in this specific example that I don't want any levels above point or above 150. Now I, my values in this image has been mapped from this straight line into this uh, jagged curve here. Being able to set a specific uh, low point and a specific high point uh, is useful when you work with a roughness map, for example. Because if I go ahead and disable this connection, and let's say you know that you want your roughness to be between 0.1 maybe and 0.3. To get those exact values um, from your texture map, you go into the color to number node and simply put the lowest value that you want as the output from and the highest number that you want as the output to. So when I do that, I now only have values between 0.1 and 0.3. And this will give you this kind of appearance. We can see here we have a bit more polished look. And if I want that to be even more polished, I can decrease the output from making these areas darker again, like that. And then again, 
maybe I want these uh, rough areas to be less rough. And to do that, again, I can decrease this output to making these areas brighter as well. So if I take a look at the color information at the same time, sorry, they, these will become darker like that. So I think this looks quite good. So let's stick with that. So that's essentially, essentially what the color to number does. It gives you control over the contrast and it gives you the ability to set a specific low and high value. I hope this video helped you to understand the color to number node a bit better. And I can't wait to see you use it for your rendering projects. Until next time, take care.